Hello and welcome viewers to the final episode of Survivor Scholar Edition. After 30 weeks of grueling examinations and 28 eliminations, we're down to two finals. Hi, I'm Karen Goods from San Diego, California. And I'm Janice Wells from Boston, Massachusetts. It's a battle of East versus West. Today, we're going to decide our winner by a test of their mathematical skills. Today's topic, conics. Our contestants are going to go through a race to each complete four mathematical problems about conics. And from there, we'll have our winner. Let's get started. Contestants, get ready, set, go! problem is a hyperbola problem. Here is the, um, here's the information I was given and from this information I have to write an equation. So first I made a small um, graph so that I could get my bearings and I found that it was aligned along the, um, the y-axis. So this means that the two, um, two, um, Chase will open up along the y-axis. And um, <clears throat> once I knew this, I then, uh, I then decided that I should figure out where the, um, I used this formula to find what h, k, and c were. And I determined that h and k, um, they, um, they signify the center. So h is negative 3 and k is negative 4 and then using that I determined that um, c would thus equal uh, 4 because um, because in order to get uh, negative 8 from negative uh, 4 you would have to subtract 4 so that gave me c and then also I determined that b was the distance between the center and the vertex and um, so that was two, because between the center and the vertex are two units. And then um, using this information, I plugged it into the Pythagorean um, formula, and this allowed me to, to determine A, and with then uh, knowing A, B, and C, I then plugged it into the uh, regular formula for a hyperbola, and determined that this is the equation. when the directrix is y equals negative one half and the vertex is at zero, zero. So if we know that um, y is negative one half, we know that it will um, open on the y-axis, so we will use this formula to eventually find the equation. But before we do that, we have to find a in the equation. And to do that, we know that the equation to find the directrix is y equals k minus one over four a. And then we can plug in negative one over two, um, yeah, negative one half here, equals zero, because um, k equals zero from the vertex, minus one over four a. And if you solve it, that should get you um, a to equal one half. Um, yeah, one half. Okay, so now we just plug in, um, plug a and h and k into the, into the equation, and you will come to get this. Thank you. Another one! This is symmetric to the x-axis, y-axis, and the origin because um, the distance between here and here and here and here is equal. The distance here and here is equal. So therefore, it's symmetric on both sides here and symmetric on both sides there. So 
so this is my second problem, and it's uh, a problem about a uh, Ferris wheel, and it says, Opened in 2000 to honor the millennium, the British Airways London Eye is the world's biggest observation wheel. Each of the 32 enclosed capsules, which each hold 25 passengers, completes a full rotation every 30 minutes. Its diameter is 135 meters, and it is constructed on London's South Bank to allow passengers to enter the eye at ground level. And now, to solve the problem, first it asks, how close is the wheel to the ground? And we know that because it says that um, it's constructed on ground level, the, it is uh, zero meters from the ground. So with this information, I constructed a graph in order to situate myself with a problem. So the bottom of the circle, uh, which represents the Ferris wheel, is um, is at the origin, and the top is at 135 to represent how high the um, how high the London Eye is. And then, um, so then the next question says, how high is the center of the wheel from the ground? And um, to find this, I divided 135 by two, and I got 67.5 meters. And um, the next part of the question asks for the coordinates of the center of the wheel. And I determined that this is 0, 067.5 because this is at the, um, the center of the wheel. And it's halfway, um, it's the halfway between the two um, radii of the, um, of the wheel. And then for the final part of the question, we had to write an equation for the circle. And to do this, we um, I used the regular formula to find the equation of a circle. And then since I know that h is 0 and k is 67.5, because I know what the, um, the center of the circle is, I then plug these numbers in along with the radius, which equals 67.5, because this is the distance from, the, um, from one end of the circle to the center. And then knowing this, I plugged it into the equation and then I found this to be the solution.